Alright people, welcome back to more Daily Duels. So today is a Wednesday and that means that we are using Clebola. So, um, I'm actually thinking about making this deck in real life depending on how hard it gets hit on this upcoming list. I.e. this is before, I'm recording this before the ban list goes up. Still don't know when it's going to go up. I thought it was going to go up on maybe like the 7th, but hey, not sure. So if it's not up by now, then I have no idea. Hmm. <laughs> I kind of want to get Sacrifice. I'm going to sacrifice, and hopefully Pot will go ahead and reveal me a Klee monster. Yep, there is one. That's all I want. I just want a Klee monster. <coughs> just so I can equip this with sacrifice, of course. Let that powerful lose one turn. It's because Klee's just so powerful. You know, our pendulum-based archetype, all pendulum, so that's busted. You know, you can play Floodgates like fucking lose one turn and skill drain. That's busted. And... Killer is a fucking monster when you summon it. So, that's busted. So, you know, overall, I'm just, you know, thumbs up for Klee's, uh, competitive-wise. So, like I said, depending on how hard they get, I'll probably just pick up the deck. Ah, uh, besides that, Teacher is being fucking bad, so... Of course, you guys know I had my online class and uh, did my work. Did my work. Right? Here you go. Go ahead and pay my 800. All right. So you gonna MST me? Go ahead. I don't care. Um, which one are you? You're the one that pops the back row. I might go ahead and just grab another helix. Yeah. Just grab another helix. Go ahead and. Is that summon? Yeah. More damage than area. It doesn't really matter. I'm almost someone's out of tribute. I'll just summon as a 18 beater. That's fine. No. I turned in my final. And my final was two parts. Uh, you had to do uh, your own original lesson plan and then find 10 lesson plans online and write a description about them. Well, when I had did it, turned it in, freaking teacher was like, Grades it. She gives me freaking half credit. I was thinking, I was like, there's probably going to be a Mirror Force, but I really don't care. It's not like Mirror Force fucking does anything to me. Because it doesn't. Because <laughs> it fucking doesn't. <laughs> like, Mirror Force. And? You know? And? Go ahead and get carry. Like, Mirror Force does nothing to me. They go to the extra deck, I'll pendulum some of them right back. That's what I'm saying. I'm running Torrental, I'm running Dark Holes and shit. Like, fuck your. Fuck it. Fucking destroy you, man. Fucking destroy you. I'm not gonna play the freaking monolith just because there's no point. You know, I'll look for the monolith when I'm planning on tribute summoning and drawing some. Of course, I'll play it next turn because I'm playing on Pendulum Summon. I might just go ahead and summon Killer next turn. Ah, oh, summon that bear. Yeah, I'll go ahead and turn to out. I don't want you to plus. Ooh, trap's done. Nah, that's fine. That's cute. That's cute. That's fun. I'll take the 16. You can have that done when I'm at it. I'm not even going to go after the tanky because I don't even care about it. I want I want, I want to clean up this bit, last piece of back row. So unless you set something else, I'm totally going to just go ahead and MST that last piece of back row. Mm -hmm. Is this for Wolf, wolf Bark? Or so you can have some XP play for the future? Oh. Okay. Is that some back row? Ooh, nigga. Okay. Wait, I thought I had MST. I don't know why I thought I had MST. That must, must have been another duel. I had an MST. Alright, so it comes down to this piece of macro right here. So, I am going to go ahead and activate Monolith. Pendulum Shulkin, summon three monsters. Watch it be bottomless. Watch it be bottomless. Bottomless, Solemn Morning. Bottomless, Solemn Morning. Of course. Of course. I'm like, watch it be one of those two. Watch it be one of those two. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. I called it. Didn't I call it? You can't say I didn't call that shit. I'm like, watch it be one of those two. Ah. Uh. 
I'm still in this duel. I'm still not out of it. Should have bought him. No, it doesn't matter because he had trap stun anyway, so. I got bought unless in turn, probably gets warning. Fucking number get regaki, draw regaki. Number generator is just crazy sometimes. Uh I think I still want a helix. Let's go ahead and run over that bear. I just personally think that Cleese haven't got hit hard enough for them to not be good, you know? Alright, so, what are you going to do? Oh, Diamond sucks. Of course, if I try to bottomless him, he could just block, block me. Okay, so I guess he's just gonna go ahead and push. Alright. This this turn collecting mirror cards cannot be destroyed. Okay. So you're gonna go ahead and summon Urnite. Activate the fact, reveal. Seems like you're definitely trying to, you know, wrap this duel up and overextend. That's why you threw the dark hole at me, but... See, I have this what, beautiful card called Fucking Lose One Turn, so you can go... Fucking lose yourself. So, go ahead and summon your... Crusader's course will be negated in turn defense mode, so that's not game. Attacking for 21, that's fine, I'll take that. Hmm. Oh, of course I'm going to turn Regeki at you. I'm just trying to think what I want to do. Might just go ahead and activate Summoner's Art and search for Scout and then just summon Scout. Then I can go ahead and Tribute for, like, Stealth. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go ahead and grab Stealth. Stealth time. Why must that be a bottomless? <laughs> Swear to God, if it's a bottomless. Because the thing is, I can kind of handle these. You know? The question is, do I want to start a Gaki at him or not? Pendulum summon you, you. So. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's anything. Normal summon? Don't want to activate Helix? Hell yeah. Don't want to activate Stealth? Not really. I guess I can turn the Crusader to his hand, because Crusader doesn't really do anything in his hand. Yeah, sure. Pop that. I want to activate just so you can't chain your card, of course, so put that back in your hand. Destroy that. Oh, it's a mirror force. Run you over. Done. Well, with the fact, draw two. Pot. Grab that fiendish chain. It's fine. Uh, it's clearly fiendish chain, so. Hmm. Is it killer time? I think it's about killer time. Just go ahead and summon killer. Yeah. We'll search one last time. Because I know it's fiendish chain. So. We'll go ahead and, uh. I'm doing summon you two. Okay, my fact one last time. 
We have 300 life points left. That's sad, but eh, life points don't mean shit. It's all about resources, so let's go ahead and grab that fucking killer. And tribute all three of them. Yep, and then you scoop, because I win. <laughs> ah, life points don't mean shit when I got fucking resources. Alright, let's get another duel one. Right back. Alright, so let's get another duel with Klebola. Like I said, I'm thinking about making this deck. Do I think Klebola should be hit? Most definitely. But if they don't, then pe be prepared. I think this deck should be hit. It's a little bit too, it's still too consistent, you know. Uh, either you drop Scout down to one, or you hit uh, Summer's Art. Because this deck is too reliant on Scout. Way too reliant. You know, just be able to pay 500, eight, I mean 500, pay 800 to be able to search for any Klee card. It's a little bit ridiculous, don't you think? But, hey. Got fucking, fucking lose one turn and fucking Scale Drain. Like, awesome. Skill drain and fucking towers. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> they don't mind the number generator giving me towers, because that's just one less monster I gotta search for when I fucking drop towers on your bitch ass, so. If Klee's become one of the top decks, I wonder if, um, if, uh, this is just a search card, right? If, uh, Yuki Usagi would be more popular. Like, Kui's became the number one deck, I think Yuki Asagi would be a popular card, just because it'd be, like, effect available, you know. It's effect that's pretty popular right now, because, you know, your opponent goes first, you want to effect available them. It's exactly the same thing. So it's like, yeah, you want to go ahead and, uh, you know, hit them with that. Hmm. <laughs> I think I got killer. Yeah, search for Monolith. Pendulum Summon. Tribute. Yep. 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 I think I got killer. And once I kill her, that's it. You, I don't think you're the type of deck to be able to get out of this one. Damn, they just gave me everything this duel. They just, this, this, this duel, they, I opened up broke. I opened up broke. Turned up summon one. Got like a solemn warning or something? Bottomless. I was, like, I was like, you got bottomless or something? Hope you do, because if you don't, then you're fucked. <laughs> Hey, you know, I opened up with the number generator, so why not you too, right? Yeah, I got skill drain and fucking killer, so why don't you get fucking, uh, bottomless, right? Forgot that's during the damage step. I for I thought you searched, like, no, you summoned, like, okay. As soon as you summon a level 4 monster, because I know you want to go into either a Loggy or a Doka, so I'm going to go ahead and fuck up that skill drain now. What do you do? This card in the field is tributed, you can special summon one blah 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 from your deck. No, I want to hold on to the skill drain because I want Killer to put in that work. I'll hold out for right now. Oh, so you're just going to fucking do that. Wow, that's dirty. That's extremely dirty. That's extremely dirty. Fucking enemy controller. Like, really? Remember when that card was popular? Kind of fell out of popularity as of late, though. Let's see. Can he wrap this duel up? He's so lucky he had that bottomless. He's so lucky he had that fucking bottom list of that 5100. Oh, he's just gonna XC right now. He's just gonna go straight into a long year. Why'd you turn. Why don't you attack with my monster? Whatever. <coughs> Whatever. <coughs> I really hope you got Solemn Warning. Because if you have Solemn Warning, I am going to kill her, you. I'm going to activate Skill Drain. Of course, you're going to negate. And then I'm going to go ahead and search with Scout. Let's see if I can bait, a, bait you out with this. You want to negate that? There you go. 
He's like, no, I'm a gay. I'm like, okay. That's fine. Ah, so that's what your plan was. <coughs> no, that's fine. Evils are still annoying. I just don't like Solemn Judgment Esque cards. But you're gonna get rid of the Logia to summon the Logia. At the risk of drain? You have to negate. Life points don't mean shit when I got fucking resources. Pendulum shotgun. One. And no, summon killer in this game. Don't want carrier. Carrier is the one that bounces, right? Yeah, carrier is the one that bounces. I want carrier. I don't want helix. I would like sacrifice. So go ahead and return one of your Lagias to you. Uh, search me for like stealth. And I'll go ahead and just kill the Lagia. And then make you pitch a monster out of your hand in that game. That game. Yeah, you, you have more resources. I mean, you have more life points than me. That's nice. Give you something out of your hand. And I'll go ahead and end my turn. Uh, like, I don't even know what was just in here. Ooh, you're in effect veiler. Nice. I run two effect veilers. Just cause in case my opponent goes first, I can go ahead and veil them. That's it. This game is over. Scoop. I win. GG. You summon two fucking Logias and I still win. Go ahead and space it. Get rid of it. Is it another singularity? Tch. Like that's gonna work. Get your fucking filthy hands off my killer. Send a monster. You have nothing. That's what I thought, bitch. Fucking loggy, get that shit out of here. All right, we can. We got time for one more duel. Be right back. All right, so. Literally opened up with Scout all oh, last two duels, so can I open up a Scout this time? No, didn't open up a Scout. That's fine. I can still hold out. I can hold out. There's Dark Holes, bro. I can Dark Hole. Just don't need to right now. Ew. Ew, monarchs. Still don't like monarchs. And of course, my lose one turn is fucking useless, because I doubt he's going to go ahead and do that. Mm hmm. Should be my monster. <clears throat> Helix is the one that bounces, right? No, Helix is the one that pops the back row. And I'm gonna finish turning you. Because I'd rather not draw this again. So, thank you for tributing my Helix. Ah, I'll throw a Dark Hole at you. I'll go ahead and throw a Dark Hole at you because now you got a freaking tribute again. question is, do I want to summon Helix? That's a question. I think I might take the duel slow. Yeah, I'm not in a hurry right now. I'll take the duel slow. I want him to just go ahead and Monarch Storm forth me again. You know, I want him to tribute, to have to pull out his own tributes. And if he can't tribute, then he's slow. Yeah. That's, that's the, what's one of the problems with Monarch, so, yeah. I could take the duel slow as I need to right now. There we go. That's, that's exactly the take I need to go ahead and take it. So I guess... Stall out long enough to go ahead and get me a scout. So. Play scout. You got that MST? Oh, 
Hopefully you got it. Uh, give me a sacrifice. I just, I, I can't stand Monarchs turn 4. It's just funny because I'm running Cleaves and I can tribute my opponent's monsters from my Cleaves and shit. just don't like that card. I think it's like really like a bleh card. Let me get Sacrifice. Summon Helix. Let me get the Sacrifice. So you got Mirror Force? Let's see if you got Mirror Force. You probably do. Nope, it's type 21. Alright. 21? <laughs> so you got Monarch Storm Force me again? Nope, you just had to surrender. No, that's the problem with fucking Monarchs. They just patter out, you know? Clearly when I just stopped it, you know, no monarchs on fourth, you just got a whole bunch of monsters that tribute summon and just kind of sit there. Like, blah, 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 I don't know what to do. Like, yep. You know. And your whole, like, oh, I'm going to lock you down with the outside extra deck. Like, I'm running Cleese. I don't need the fucking extra deck. Like, I can just literally throw in a whole bunch of Utopias. Like, I don't use the extra deck ever. <laughs> just ever. <laughs> so, if I haven't read this deck, I might just throw a whole bunch of Utopias in there. Just because Utopia is too strong. <laughs> but, uh, anyway. Clearly. Scout, you know, there's just too many ways of getting Scout, like I said. Uh, maybe lowering the Scout down to one might be a little bit too harsh, just because the deck won't be able to do shit without without Scout, because it seems a little bit slow without Scout, but maybe lower Summoner's Art, maybe down to like one or two. Lower that, lower that shit, because Summoner's Art is too consistent with Scout. You have way too many ways of getting freaking Scout to your hand, it's too good. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call that an episode of the Daily Duels, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. So uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and of course I will be seeing you guys tomorrow, another tag day, using UAs and being joined by a tag partner, so you guys have to find out who it is. So, so instead of like, oh, well, you know, it's going to be Saturday, you know, it's of course it's going to be a mega chaos and, uh, and slay. Like, nope, 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 tag day, you don't know, you don't know. So you have to find out, find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Hey, hey, have you guys seen the first episode of Dragon Ball Super? I'm getting off topic, I was just wondering. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support. See you guys tomorrow.